As we all look ahead to 2017, this year Team Countdown was all over the 2016 presidential race, covering billionaire businessman Donald Trump's historic rise to the White House, tracking the market's run to Dow 20,000 live from the floor of the New York Stock Exchange multiple times I was down there, talking to contenders like Ohio Governor John Kasich and Democratic presidential wannabe, former Rhode Island Governor, remember Lincoln Chafee? Yeah, he was here too. We also made our annual excursion to the Swiss Alps at Davos. So we thought, let's give you guys a glimpse of some of Countdown's best moments of 2016. All right. With less than an hour to the closing bell, come hang with me. We'll start the countdown. The biggest rock star in the business world. Look at the international press corps trying to get to billionaire Warren Buffett if Uber went public. Would you buy the stock? No. Why not? The last 40 years anyway, I don't think we've ever bought a public offering. I believe that AT&T should divest Batman because they have no rights to be <laughs> controlling Batman after this merger. Live from Las Vegas at the Consumer Electronics Show at the Sands Expo Center. This is the world's tiniest drone. We have liftoff, liftoff of the drone coming around my head. And it, oh, and it even flips. Fast forward to today, the Winklevoss Gemini Bitcoin Exchange now trading Ethereum, and we're welcoming the Bitcoin brothers here. We're in the gondola high above Davos, Switzerland. This is how skiers get all the way to the top. But down there for the World Economic Forum, boy, I'll tell you, the topics are so hot, they're melting the snow. Stephen Hawking, whom I'm sure you know, uh, warned this week that technology could end up ending humanity at some point. Do you share that apocalyptic view of technology? I do think we have to worry about it. I don't think it's inherent that as we create uh, super intelligence that it will necessarily always uh, have the same goals in mind that we do. Larry Shover over at the CME is standing by. Uh, Larry, what did you see shortly after 1 p.m. Eastern time when this news broke? Larry is right next to me. That's how crazy this day has been. <laughs> One of my finer moments. Yes, I thought Larry was actually in Chicago. <laughs> Meantime, they had brought him in. He was sitting right next to me. But I'm on it. You, you don't have to worry about me. I swear I have your back. <laughs> what a great year. We've got even more highlights of Countdown 2016, including the Gasparino leather underwear, leopard underwear. Just go on LizClayman.com. We stretched it out. We've got a whole bunch there. And by the way, you don't want to miss my classic Cleveland Indians prediction after the Cavaliers won the NBA title. And I was about 99% right. Almost. Uh, almost. The Cubbies foiled almost. me. <laughs> also, follow me on Twitter. By the way, thanks to all of you guys. We've reached more than 61,000 wow. followers. We are pushing for 100,000. Retweet. Follow Friday. You can see all kinds of things on my Twitter, including my pictures from my recent trip to Israel and to Jordan. And of course, don't forget to like us on Facebook. What we do is we post all of our daily segments on Facebook.com slash Liz Clayman. We also put stock picks from many of our brilliant guests, so be sure to check it out. And lastly, I get a little foot clamped here. I want to thank you, our viewers, for making 2016 Countdown to the Closing Bell's best year ever. We beat our competitors. Happy New Year. Here's to an even better 2017. Uh, you guys know I'm an original. I started here at the launch of 2007. Nine years later, we're doing it, and we've done it thanks to you.